Haitian General Raul Cedres, who will be stepping down in two weeks, held a hasty garage sale of some knickknacks he'd acquired while in office. You big fans of the Haitian strongman, are you? Postal authorities removed a cigarette from a photo of blues artist Robert Johnson to help dignify the musician in a new stamp they've issued in his honor. This isn't the first time the post office has altered a photograph. In fact, the original photo used on the Elvis stamp was based on this photo. <laughs> King enjoying a hoagie. In a related story, three of Hollywood's most powerful men, David Geffen, Steven Spielberg, and Jeffrey Katzenberg, joined forces last week to form their own movie studio. When asked what sort of films we could expect from them, the trio replied, mostly pornos. <laughs> That's good news. All right, all right. Last week, Queen Elizabeth won 10 pounds in her country's national lottery. However, she has no plans to quit her job as Queen of England. Yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. You think I didn't know? Jeffrey Dahmer's relatives are reportedly fighting over what to do with his body. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. Well, some want to have sex with it, while the rest want to put it in the fridge. So that's, uh... <laughs> Should have stopped at the premise that time. The U.S. Postal Service this week canceled plans for a stamp commemorating the bombing of Hiroshima. They will instead release a different stamp here it is that uh, hopefully we'll, people will find it less offensive, that one. Scientists have created a genetically superior Christmas tree that will be taller, stronger, and tougher than other trees. One downside, uh, if you don't like your presence, it will kill you. <laughs> It's a hell of a downside there. A one-legged goose with a dart in its head. And I complain about my life, you know? It's tougher for the one-legged goose. Hey, this week a Cincinnati woman with 10 personalities sued a man for sexual assault. But the suit was thrown out when two of her personalities said that she may have consented. You know, folks, where I come from, no, 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 yes, yes, no, no, means no. <laughs> Hate to get on a soapbox, but uh, that's where I come from. Oprah Winfrey broke down and cried this week, saying she had once smoked crack cocaine. You know, I don't know what she's crying about. I mean, you know, some people in this world never get to smoke crack cocaine. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Huh? Here's an amazing story. Twins born 95 days apart. Even more amazing, they were born to different mothers and they don't even look alike. <laughs> Hard to believe. This week, a court banned gays from marching in Boston's St. Patrick's Day Parade, but they will still allow them to be beaten up by drunken Irish guys. <laughs> I'm afraid to know what you're applauding at there. Okay. <laughs> Well, the Super Bowl might be over, but the San Francisco 49ers just keep piling it on. They now lead the Chargers 83-40 to 27. So they've comfortably covered the spread. And in football news, man, this is getting ridiculous. The 49ers now beat the Chargers 1,000,655-something to 27. All right. <laughs> Not good with those long numbers. A study says that pot use in high school is up sharply. Don't I know it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm joking. And, uh, <laughs> I don't really sell drugs to children. And now, to illustrate the point that their client is running out of money to defend himself, O.J. Simpson's lawyer said this week that if he had to do it over again, after killing his victims, O.J. would now rob them as well. <laughs> that one you find troubling? We went... Well, how about this, huh? You know it makes me sick when a society lets a guy like Colin Ferguson live for another 200 years. It's... <laughs> ridiculous. It's crazy. 
Israeli, Israeli security forces have rounded up over 150 suspects in last week's suicide bombings. Suspects in the suicide bombings. Now, well, here's a hint. Look for the dead guys, and uh, we're probably on the right track. Well, in Buffalo, Wyoming, a truck jackknifed this week, spilling hundreds of sticks of dynamite on the I-90 interstate, though officials noted that there is absolutely no danger as long as you're protected by magic. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was protected by magic. All right. And with the Pope in New York City, some of the New York City's greediest and most heartless con men are getting rich selling fake tickets to the mass in Central Park. Don't I know it. Look at all. Look, look here. Look at all this. Oh, yeah. Hoping to impress a girl, Kevin Hall, 18 years old, stuck a sawed-off shotgun in his pants and blasted off his genitals. You know, I don't know the girl, but I'm guessing that uh, the stunt didn't work. I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> In an attempt to reassure critics of the president's Bosnian policy, White House press spokesman Mike McCurry stressed that the administration does not intend that America be the world's policeman. He did acknowledge, however, that the Marines had just pulled over the country of Brazil for speeding. <laughs> like Johnny Carson there for a second. <laughs> this week, Paula Barbieri admitted that she had broken up with O.J. Simpson the very night Nicole Brown Simpson was killed. Boy, that had to be a tough day for O.J., huh? <laughs> First he gets dumped by his girlfriend, then Colombian hitmen kill his wife. <laughs> Man, that's... You gotta... Recent studies indicate the number of people getting the AIDS virus appear to be declining sharply. But it is important for viewers to remember one thing. Sex without condoms feels better. <laughs> now I have to say this. It should be noted, however, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Wrong Way Corrigan, the man who once flew all the way to Ireland by mistake, died this week at the age of 88. It was just like him, said his wife. He was trying to live. <laughs> he got it all wrong. Across the nation this Monday, banks and government offices will be closed in observance of Martin Luther King's birthday. Meanwhile, at the Riverbend Maximum Security Prison in Nashville, Dr. King's assassin, James Earl Ray, will spend the day being raped continuously. <laughs> He's a bad guy, by the way, James Earl Ray, if you don't know that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Republican hopeful Phil Graham says that Bob Dole should not get the nomination because he backed President Clinton's plan to send troops to Bosnia. Dole responded that Graham should not be nominated for president because, well, look at him. <laughs> Take a gander at the fella. <laughs> well, more bad news for ice cream moguls Ben and Jerry and their continuing battle with the Food and Drug Administration. This week, the FDA banned their newest flavor, stuff from Ben's beard. <laughs> Meddling bureaucracy wrecking mass. Well, at a local town meeting in Montpelier, Vermont last week, representatives from the McDonald's Corporation, who want to put a re restaurant in a historic district, were booed by angry residents. But they were cheered by the town fat guy. <laughs> Every town has one, the town fat guy. With peanut consumption in the United States down 10%, the Peanut Advisory Board has decided to launch a $600,000 publicity campaign. Most of the funds will go towards spreading ugly rumors about almonds and cashews. <laughs> I 
That's not right, huh? <laughs> a celebrated fertility statue, which many believe has the power to make women pregnant, began a nationwide tour this week. The hundreds of women who claim it caused their pregnancies are of different ages, races, and religions. But they all have one thing in common. They are all dirty, dirty whores. <laughs> Dirty, dirty horrors. In Colorado this week, Bob Dole warned that if Pat Buchanan is the Republican nominee, the party might lose both the presidency and control of Congress. In response, Buchanan warned that if anyone other than himself becomes president, blacks will retain the right to vote. <laughs> Six of one, half dozen of another. Just days after winning the New Hampshire primary, Pat Buchanan has become the target of savage attacks within the Republican Party. On a positive note, however, he did pick up the enthusiastic endorsement of Bill Clinton, the President of the United States of America. Can't get much higher than that. Well, television history will be made this week when film legend Elizabeth Taylor appears as herself on all four CBS Monday Night sitcoms. It's part of the network's new campaign, Must Eat TV. <laughs> she enjoys eating. According to a Senate Committee on Violence, Denise Brown has done more to bring attention to the cause of battered women than any other person. Well, almost any other person. <laughs> Once again, O.J. gets a short shrift. Well, Washington, D.C. Mayor Marion Barry says he has devised a money-saving plan that would close the district's Lorton prison and transfer its 7,000 inmates to private lockups. One hitch is that the financially strapped district doesn't have the startup money to implement the plan. Another hitch is that the guy who devised the plan smokes crack. <laughs> so, two hitches. 130 years after the Civil War, the state of Mississippi has finally voted to abolish slavery. Representatives say they would have liked to have done it sooner, but uh, they were delayed due to some awfully big cotton crops. They had to... That's a... I'm going to big cotton thing. All right. I watch old TV shows. Yeah. And uh, it was the first Kojak. You remember Kojak? Kelly Savalas. Kelly Savalas. With the and lollipop. Yeah, you had the lollipop going. Women, it's a fun to go down. We're here to stay and run this town. Bring in the heat, bring in the energy. We're the queens of the festival, can't you see? We're the queens of the festival, here to rule the stage. Jumping beats and make your body engage. From sunrise to sunset, we're taking it all. Until dusk, we command the crowd's gaze Every beat, every rhyme sets a soul to place With swagger and style, we own this domain In the realm of music, we reign supreme, no chain Feel the rhythm pulsating through your veins Our verses hidden, night fire never wane With each lyric, we spit each move we make We carve our legacy, leaving jaws to quake We're the queens of the festival, here to rule the stage Dropping beats and make your body engage From sunrise to sunset, we're taking it all Crown needed our ours, the crown jewel in the kingdom of sound. We never played the fool with beats as our scepters and rhymes as our decree. We're the sovereigns of rhythm for all to see. So bow down to the queens as we own the night. In the kingdom of music, we're the guiding light. From the first note to the last, we'll always be the festival queens, forever wild and free. So for the pilot, it was uh, Crocker's first day. You know, Kevin Dobson played Crocker. Sure, Crocker. So he was just out of police academy. Green. They kept saying how green he was. Kojak had been around a long time. He knew everything. So he's, you know, has this green kid, and he doesn't know if he wants to be working with him. So the, what was happening was uh, prostitutes were being murdered. Oh, know? my. He goes, go down and uh, try to get some information from the prostitute's mother. 
So a little while later, uh, Crocker comes back. I talked to her, her mother. She wasn't a prostitute at all. She was a good, good girl. Yeah. So Kojak's seen it all, right? So he takes this Bilali Pop, he goes, yep, she was a good girl. Mama's apple pie, the 4th of July. She was a hooker! <laughs> 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 Cracker was too green to see it, you know?